Hey there, it's Dana Camp. I'm coming to you about Sophie's Universe and the importance of stopping and counting, counting stitches, because I just realized I made a big boo-boo, and I'm going to show it to you now. Here I am on part eight, and um, where we have double crocheted four times in a space from the previous row, and then we chained two, and then went, I thought, skipped one space, and then did another four double crochets. So I decided, hmm, I think I'll go back and look at um, the website. And I looked, and I saw her um, row here with the four double crochets looked so much neater than mine and it looked like it didn't have nearly as many four double crochets so I counted and she has seven and I don't know I've got at least maybe twelve in mine so I thought what on earth happened then I realized she I don't know if you can see it because her row is dark she has skipped two spaces and that's exactly what the instructions said, but I completely misread it. So, thankfully, I've only done one row. So I'm going to go back and fix that. But that's what I want to encourage you to do as you're doing your Sophie's Universe. Be sure and go back and double check after a row and make sure you've done it right so you won't be disappointed or annoyed having to rip out a lot more. Normally, when I make a mistake, it's not quite so obvious or big, and I can just fix that by doing two crochets, two single crochets together or something like that. But when it's something big, like a whole row of way too many um, stitches, I've definitely got to go back and rip that out. So, um, I'm Dana Camp, encouraging you on your Sophie's Universe. Um, and to go back and make sure you count stitches and make sure you've done a row correctly. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.